Number 5 Valerie Latorno currently fights in the UFC Women's Strawweight Division and last lost to a newcomer Vivian Pereira by a split decision at UFC 206. She is a big strawweight and cuts a lot of weight which definitely affects her performance inside the octagon. She has previously fought at flyweight and as high as bantamweight. With the 3 fight losing streak, I believe she needs a fresh start and I believe the move back up to the UFC Bantamweight Division will give her great success as the weight cut won't drain her as much and her performance inside the octagon will be a lot better. Number 4 Frankie Edgar currently fights in the UFC featherweight division and last defeated Jeremy Stevens at UFC 205. He has already had two opportunities challenging for the title but has failed to capture the belt. I do believe he has another title run in him but I believe the drop down to the bantamweight division will give him great success. With his coach Mark Henry saying that he would be able to make the cut down to the bantamweight division, I believe the move down to 135 will definitely give him success in 2017. This is just my opinion guys but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Number 3 Mauricio Shogun Hua currently fights in the UFC La Heavyweight division and last defeated Corey Anderson by a split decision at UFC 198. Although he became champion in the division, he has had many ups and downs in the UFC La Heavyweight division. He is now on a two fight winning streak and I believe the move down to the middleweight division would be a great move for him as he is a very small light heavyweight. If he does make the move down to 185, he will have opponents similar size to him and I believe he would be very successful in the new division. Number 2 Charles Oliveira currently fights in the UFC featherweight division and last lost to Ricardo Lamas at UFC Final 98. He has had trouble making weight in the division and has missed weight 5 times in his UFC career. He is a big featherweight and the weight cut definitely affects his performance inside the octagon. He has previously fought at lightweight and as high as welterweight. With a 2 fight losing streak, I believe if he moved back up to the lightweight division he would definitely have success. He is a highly talented fighter who has the potential to be successful in the 155 pound weight class. Number 1 Johnny Hendricks currently fights in the UFC welterweight division and last lost to Neil Magny by a unanimous decision at UFC 207. Throughout 2016, he has had trouble making weight and has lost 3 fights. His eating habits outside of fights has had an impact on both his weight cut and his performance inside the octagon. With a 3 fight losing streak, I believe he needs a fresh start and I believe the move up to the UFC middleweight division will give him great success as the weight cut won't drain him as much and his performance inside the octagon will be a lot better.